there are thousands of women's activist organizations uh, that work to improve women's lives around the world. And for many, New York is a hub where they return each year, or more often, uh, to look for funding or to attend meetings and conferences at the United Nations, for instance. Um, but too often, those that are based in foreign countries um, have to cut their stay short, or perhaps they can't even come because uh, it is uh, expensive to come here. Um, meetings are rushed, um, and they can return home with hope, but little action in the end. Um, and uh, meanwhile, New York-based groups are crippled by rising costs of rent and salaries. And uh, instead of working together, the groups end up competing with each other for resources and the attention of those with influence. What if there were a brick and mortar resource for all these organizations? Imagine the power of gathering them all under one roof in one single location where they could find lodging, professional development, mentorship, and the opportunity to connect and collaborate with others who share their vision. Um, Kota means a hut or a home in my native uh, Finland, and we see Kota as a gathering place that by being a social enterprise supports change-making organizations in many practical ways. Within its walls, alliances are forged and innovative solutions found. And this allows for the groups to do their important work uh, and have an impact. Now, this model could also be multiplied many times on each continent. Imagine what power and lasting change that would bring. Uh, empowering women globally is the key battleground today when we try to build a world that is more sustainable for all. And it's the kind of world that we want our grandchildren to live in. Don't you agree? Let's make it happen. <laughs>